Mark Hinkle from the Spiritist Society of Palm Beach, located in Boca Raton, Florida. And his presentation is titled, Discovering Neo New Pathways with Spiritism. Welcome, Mr. Hinkle. Good afternoon to our guest speakers, our fellow spiritists, and this great crowd here. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm sure you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. It's uh, quite a learning experience, and I really, really have enjoyed this symposium. Again, my name is Mark Hinkle, and I'm a fairly new spiritist, doing my studies and learning everything that I can about this subject. Uh, just to give you a little background on me, um, my parents were brought us up as Methodists and, and to believe in God. Uh, I didn't know what God was, but to believe in it. But they never pushed us to go to church, so we, you know, we learned what God was and, and watched it. But the one thing my parents really showed us more than anything else was how to love and to be loved. And I, it's so special how my parents brought us up on that. And they also brought us up to respect towards other people. And again, about the love. Uh, they did such a good job on all of us that uh, my parents have been married for 63 years this last March. And I feel so special, and I tell people when I meet them and talk to them about myself that I was very fortunate to be brought up in a house of love and to still have my parents today. It's funny how you, you know, your family is very special to you. And my mom and I were always battling with each other, but we had a very spiritual, spiritual connection. Uh, when I would go away for a trip or go somewhere. Uh, my mom knew when I got there, she was sitting by the phone waiting for me. She knew when I was in trouble or had problems, my mom was always there and understood and knew what was going on before I could even tell her. She was, she was a character. Um, but one thing, my mom, she never thought of herself as a spiritist. And I don't think she really realizes what it is, but I believe she knows very well. My mom had told us one time that, uh, that she was, lived in Kansas at one time. And she very graphically could tell us where she lived in her previous life. She knew it. And she also had told when she had met dad that this was the man I was gonna meet, I was gonna marry, and I've lived with him before. Again, my mom doesn't know anything about spiritism. So at my early age, I was very aware of what spiritism was, but I, I, didn't, I couldn't explain it because I, you know, I didn't know anything about it. Uh, our house that we lived in for several years, I grew up in it until 16. We had a spirit that lived in our house. As kids, we thought it was ghosts, but I know better now. This spirit watched over us, took care of us. It would walk the stairs from the attic down to us. You could feel the presence. It wasn't one day or two days. It happened my whole life in that house. We felt very comfortable with this spirit. I couldn't explain it, but it was, it was there, and I, you know, we knew about it. So it was something that, you know, you, you just, you know, you had the feeling but couldn't explain it. Also, I grew up knowing and feeling things that I, I didn't understand. Uh, I'd get gut feelings and I trusted my gut feelings. Um, it was so strong sometimes, but again, I had the free will to make a decision on my own but I always had that voice inside me. And until now, 
I never knew what it was, just a gut feeling. During my middle year life, I did not have a strong uh, background with God, and I, I really didn't pray much. I only prayed when I needed to or asking for help. But I, you know, I never took it serious until at one point in my life I was very depressed and set for months debating whether I should take my life or not. But I had this gut feeling and I had this voice inside of me that talked to me and told me, no, you're a better person than that. There's much more there for you. Don't do it. And I listened to that and I said, wow, you know, that's pretty strong. So then about three months later, my life changed. And I mean, it changed. I couldn't believe how it changed. I met this special, special person in my life. She's now my wife, Luciana. She, being a spiritism, brought something to me that was just so strong and so realistic. I, I couldn't believe it. It was funny. I would uh, sit there and she'd go to classes and I'd uh, ask her things. One of the things you got to realize, she never pushed spiritism in me, but she always, you know, if I asked questions, she was there for me. But the thing is, is when we talked about it, it was funny. I understood what she said. It was so important. After that, I asked about classes, and she took me to uh, the center where I met three of the most wonderful people I've ever met in my life. Mauricio, Andrea, and Amadre Emilia. These people welcomed me there, showed me a lot of love, and helped me learn what I'm supposed to and how to go. So I started classes with Mauricio and Andrea and starting to get into it. It was exciting, you know, learn about the pair spirits, about the universal fluids, loving, praying, mediumship, sleeping, forgiveness, and the science behind it. God, it was exciting, and I'm still learning it today. It's just so, so much information, but just so valuable. Also, I started to pick up books at the center to read, like the Spirit's Book. I'm not much of a reader, believe me. I'm not much of a reader. But the Spirit's Book, the Gospel, the Diary of a Drug Addict, uh, addict uh, excuse me, a Diary of a Drug Addict, it was a very important book, and I enjoyed it. Mauricio told me about it. And, of course, the new book out that just went English that's been around forever is Narslar. But these changes always came back, and learning about it, the most powerful thing I always learned about, which is what my parents taught me about, was love. So powerful of a word. So much. So I pray twice a day, and sometimes more. I take in account of what I'm doing each and every day. And I just live with my wife and we live with a purpose. I know I have to correct my faults and continue my studies, but most of all, put my trust in God and that everything will work out. I thank you for this time and let love be a part of everybody's lives here. Thank you.